Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, a single drop of sunlight fell from the heavens. From this small drop of sun grew a magic flower. It was said that this flower had the power to heal the sick and the injured. And when the queen, who was to have a baby, became very ill, she drank a broth made from this flower and was healed. A healthy baby girl, a princess, was born with beautiful golden hair that also held the magical power. But someone wanted that magic for herself. A vengeful old woman named Mother Gothel. She stole the princess and locked her away in a hidden tower deep in the forest, where she raised the child as her own. The healing power of the child's hair had restored Gothel's youth and beauty. But inside, Mother Gothel remained possessive and cruel. So she told Rapunzel the outside world was a dangerous place filled with horrible, selfish people. But even the walls of a tower could not contain the hopeful spirit of a princess. Each year on her birthday, the king and queen released thousands of lanterns into the night sky in the hope that one day their lost princess would return. Rapunzel watched and wondered about the floating lights from her tower window and longed to venture into the outside world to see them up close. Then one day, she met someone quite unexpected, someone who could help her realize her dream. And she quickly hit him on the head with a frying pan. After all, Rapunzel was a bit new at this adventure business. Yeah, Blondie, I don't remember much after the part where you knocked me out with the frying pan. Well, that's what this journal is for. I'll draw everything we see in here so I can remember and think about it later. Okay, fine. So what happened next? After you came in the window, we made a deal. Right. You hid my satchel and said that if I wanted it back, I had to take you to see the lanterns. Well, I had asked Mother, but she said I was never to leave the tower. And Pascal thought I could trust you, so I took a chance. <gasps> oh, this is so amazing! It's better than I ever imagined! How the light hits the trees, the smell of the breeze going by, <gasps> the feel of cold water running over my toes. And so, are we going, Blondie? I did this! I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this! I am a horrible daughter. I'm going back. I am never going back! Oh, I'm a despicable human being. You know, I can't help but notice, you seem a little at war with yourself here. Oh, you're so sweet. I could play with you all day. Thank <laughs> you. 
something's in the way. Something's in the way. Just what we need. More troublesome kids. <laughs> Just a minute.
No wall is too high for Flynn Rider. treasure out of there. Just a minute. This is a job for Flynn Rider. Just a minute. This is a job for Flynn Rider. Wait. I'm sensing something shiny. I'll go to the other side. Whoa! Hang on. There's gold around here. Whoa! Hang on. There's... I'll swing across. Get across here. Uh oh, something's in the way. Just a minute. This is a job for Flynn Rider. Hang on. There's something here. I can taste it. Something's in the way. I think I can get across here. That's it? That's all I need? I'll oh, swing. 
swing across. Just a minute. This is a job for Flynn Rider. I can get across.
Like. I'll get a bonus for this. I think I can get across here. Hang on there, Blondie. I'll take care of this. Pass this straight through. Thank you. 
Convenient. Can't go over it, gotta go through it. Hang on there, Blondie. I'll take care of this. I have an idea. Go stand on that log. OK, 
Okay, stay right there. Right there. Yeah! 